The subfloor should be flat, smooth, permanently dry, and free of any dust, debris, or contaminants that could interfere with the adhesive bond. The temperature should be maintained between 65 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours prior to, during, and permanently after the installation. The carpet tile and adhesive should be stored on site for a minimum of 24 hours. To begin the floor layout, find the center of the room across the width. Determine the size of the edge tile. If the last tile will be less than 12 inches wide, adjust the center line by 12 inches. In other words, if the distance from the center to the wall is 10 feet 6 inches, the edge tile would be 6 inches wide. By moving the center line 12 inches, perimeter tile on both sides will now be 18 inches wide. Snap a chalk line for the center line. Snap a second line perpendicular to the first after determining perimeter tile size will again be greater than 12 inches. Verify squareness with a laser square or a 3, 4, 5 triangle. The start lines may be shifted to allow for more convenient start location as long as they are parallel to the center lines and maintain the perimeter tile size. In other words, in a small room, you may want to spread adhesive in the whole room and start at the doorway. Start lines would be snapped at the inside edge of the perimeter tiles. You may want to dry lay a small area to evaluate pattern options. Some common choices are monolithic, where all of the direction arrows on the back of the tile face the same direction. Quarter turn, where alternating tile are turned 90 degrees so that all arrows point in one of two directions. Brick, where the width rows are staggered by half of a tile. And ashlar, where the length rows alternate by half a tile. Brick and ashlar patterns require a third chalk line parallel to and 12 inches from the length center line for brick and the width center line for ashlar. For EcoWorks and Ecologix products, we recommend the use of a premium pressure-sensitive adhesive such as Shaw 5000, 5036, 5100, or 5900. EcoWorks may also be installed with lock dots, which we will show later. A full spread of adhesive is required using either a 3 8 inch foam paint roller or a 1 32nd by 1 16th by 5 64th square notch trowel. Spread up to and slightly over your start line, covering a little over half the area. Allow the glue to dry completely. To begin the tile install, place the first tile at the intersection of the two perpendicular lines. Don't forget to monitor the directional arrows on the back of the tile. Place the second and third tiles adjacent to the first on the start line. The fourth tile will have sides aligned with a chalk line and the first tile. Continue by sliding tile into place in a pyramid pattern, snug but not compressed. Press the entire surface of the tile to ensure proper adhesion. Be aware of possible trapped yarn between tiles which could adversely affect tile alignment. There will always be two perpendicular edges or chalk lines to assist with tile alignment. If the edges do not align, the misalignment will increase as the installation progresses. You must identify the source of the problem and correct it. Measure the width of 10 installed tile. If less than 240 inches, the tile are compressed. If more than 240 and a quarter inches, there are gaps between the tiles. Perimeter tile may be cut by measuring and cutting from the back with a straight edge or letting the tile cove up the wall and trimming with a sharp carpet knife or a wall trimmer. Roll the installed tile with a 75 to 100 pound roller in both length and width. Repeat the installation for the second half of the room. Lock dots eliminates the need for glue buckets, trowels, or paint rollers, as well as the open time needed for adhesive to dry. Simply apply three dots at all four corners and three more in the center of the tile with the lock dots applicator. Place the tile on the floor and press into place. 